Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off with only one turn left to go before our Doom Sphere comes online and blows Nagaron to smithereens. I don't know about you guys, but I am trembling with anticipation. And also constipation, but mostly anticipation. The majority of our armies are up north here, next to Harganeth. So next turn, I think, or maybe this turn, we'll start heading out and getting ready to destroy this place, just in case blowing up Nagarond isn't quite enough. Unfortunately, to the south, we have this guy, who's coming in real hot and heavy towards Hexwaddle. And unfortunately, Warpatek's the only one around to kind of defend against him. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to hold him back by himself. Although, if he does garrison inside of the inside of Hexawaddle, maybe we'll have a better chance. Hmm. It's actually a fairly decent army. But anyways, I think we might need to get ourselves another lord though. Um because I don't think Warpatek's going to be able to do everything by himself. Ooh, a strong warlord. Interesting. Hmm. All right, well, I think we'll go with Ixstone the Dominator. Sure. And you'll get a unique name after you've uh, proven yourself, of course. We'll have an ex expansion, Bonebreaker, Root Marcher, and we'll go with Ancient Cunning. Uh, let's also give you Bonded Service and Draft Master, Lightning Strike. And what else? Hail Weapon. Uh, let's give you Warpstone Weapon, Thick Skinned, Blade Master, and I guess, um, Verminous Valor? Sure. And I think we will, I guess you are a little squishy, so maybe a bit more health or melee defense. Let's go for melee defense, sure. Fantastic. All right, Ixstone, let's get you started in, uh, recruit these guys. Oh, sorry, not that. Same army as the other dudes, I guess. Oh, Death Glow Bombardiers. Although, wait. Would it be better if we recruit the uh, more difficult ones first? Maybe? Let's see. Four up Lightning Cannon, Plate Claw Catapult, Doom Flares, a couple of Rat Ogres, and what else? And then all the weapons team guys, I guess. Sure. And who else? Thornburn with Halberds. What am I forgetting? Because I know one spot is for the Assassin. Um. Alright, so... Warp Fire Thrower. These guys. Got the Gisales. The Rattling Gunners? Yeah, I think I missed the Rattling Gunners somehow. Alright, so... I don't think it actually makes a difference whether I um, recruit troops this way or that way. Knife Yolsef, Shruft, or Faderife? Let's go with Shruft. I like the um, immunity to psychology thing. Alright. What else do we want? I think Elusive, right? No, no, Gutterfighter. There we go. So just join up with um, this guy's army whenever you can. Ticket. Mmm, still holding out hope, though it's certainly getting, oh wait, no, yeah, it's certainly getting a lot less likely, yeah, we'll see though, we'll see, alright, um, I think we're pretty much good to go, so, let's have the guy start heading towards Harganet, because I don't think we're gonna be able to get there if we just, um, you know, have everyone go at the same, or go in the next turn. Alright, so Static is actually good to go. So let's have you start heading out. Sure. Um, go there for now? Uh-oh. Okay. Um, that's not good. I guess we should take him out first. I was hoping that we could keep Skrulk and, um... Avalon, uh, back a little bit more, but I think we may need to mobilize them. All right, get in there, because I think Avalon's... Oh, no. All right, well, thankfully, Admiral Omarin doesn't have a full army, so maybe we'll be all right. 
Right, scroll. You are almost fully replenished. Not quite. Uh, why don't you get into position? And I think Avalon will have to be the one to lead the charge because she's the one that has the highest ambush chance. Although, I don't know if that would still work in the ocean. I guess we'll find out. Right, let's do this. Okay, so I guess we didn't manage to ambush him, which is fine. Um, Sacred Banner of the Horned Rat. So that's a constant hex on their leadership. Let's give that to our help at Abomination. And Banner of Swiftness. I think we'll give that to... Hmm. I mean, I guess our Doom Wheel is fast enough. So maybe it's not necessary, but... Then again. I think he would see the greatest benefit. 93 speed, as opposed to what? Sorry. As opposed to 82. Not bad. Alright, sure. Stuff him in there. And let's get ourselves some... Uh, Menace from below. Um... Alright, so, I mean, I would like to do this manually, but I think we kind of need to make sure that this gets destroyed, and the only way I can guarantee that pretty much is to auto-resolve it. Otherwise, they'll most likely get away and start replenishing and all that stuff, which is obviously a big no-no. Alright, we might take some heavy casualties from this, but hopefully we'll be alright, knock on wood. Okay, so we lost our Wheels of Doom, which is very unfortunate. But, for the most part, it seems that we're kind of okay-ish. Oof. Very unfortunate about the uh, Doom Wheels. Damn. Um... No chance that we can go back to our own territory, right? No, because that's over there. Hmm... Actually, if we do do full speed, maybe we can land in our territory. Although, I think you need to land on a coastal thing first, don't you? Alright, um, then maybe we'll just stay put. Hmm. Alright, that's fine, because we do have D-End and uh, Matrix Disc to um take this place out. Hopefully. Should we move back a little bit? Maybe we should move back a little bit. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Let's not worry about it too much. And we do still have a bit of money left over, so maybe we should go ahead and upgrade some stuff here. Sure. Why not? And what else? Yeah, sure. The capes. Um... Oh, definitely food. Thank you. Scorpion Coast. Nope. Southern Spinosotec. Let's go for the uh, thing upgrade there. And I think that's good for now. Alright, you guys are just gonna have to stay put. Engenbolt, continue destroying the walls in Harganeth, the walls that do not exist anymore. And let's get you working on Brittle Bones. Pustin, just keep stealing technology. Mm. Alright, so next turn we'll see the Vermintide pop up next to uh, Grand, I think. And also... Um... The warp, the um, thingamajig explode in uh, Nagarond, which I'm very much so looking forward to. As I said, Rolf, this isn't going to help us, is it? No, sadly, tis not. That's fine. Who has not yet moved? Silent? Sure, why not? All right, buddy. Uh, opportunist, and I guess um, that's about it for this turn. All right, well. Here's hoping that this actually works out. Now, I'm kind of curious what's going to happen to this Mortis character in here once this place blows up. Does the army inside also blow up? I hope so. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Blow up Nagarond. I guess it blows up at the beginning of our turn. Oh no, Mortis escaped. Aw, oh, man. Really? Ah, shit. I was kind of hoping to see what would happen to um, the character there. Damn. Uh, okay. Taking very tiny, tiny steps to uh, reach us, I guess. And, oh, they're raiding. I see. And you've assaulted my units. What the fuck is up with Sid's cheeks? 
Whoa, did you just destroy Mortis? Hot damn. What do you want, Scalings? No, I don't want a military lance with you. Or access with you. Whoa! Hey! Fantastic! Doom Sphere detonated. Your completed Doom Sphere was detonated, destroying both the settlement above and your under city below. All that remains in the area are steaming toxic ruins. Nice! That is so cool! Never. Um, what's up with your white box there, sir? Ill considered, short sighted. What? Me blowing Oh. And is this our Vermintide? Ooh, interesting. Murta the Vomitus. Okay. No malice. And he starts out as a master assassin. I wonder if that's how it is with all the um all of these uh things. The uh Vermintide stuff. Mm, rat foo, I don't think it's really necessary. Root marcher, ancient cunning, and what else? I guess looter. Draft master, lightning strike, and let's give you your tail weapon stuff. I think that's good. Sweet. All right, buddy. Um, I guess we'll have you attack Grand. What's the garrison situation here? Pretty crazy good, as it turns out. Okay. Well, I guess this is not a good idea then. All right, Murta the Vomitus. And how about you start moving towards Harganeth? At the very least, maybe he'll be a distraction. And I guess Harganeth is now exposed. Very nice. All right, DN. I know your troops have been assaulted, but that's fine. Uh, why don't you park your ass over this way? Tell me that you can actually still land and provide a little bit of assistance. Oh, there we go. Except now we're taking attrition in this region, which is unfortunate. Right, Matrix, same deal as uh, DN. Can you land, please? Is that possible at all? Do I need you to... Do I need to pixel hunt here? I guess I do. All right, then maybe there? Atta boy. All right. Who wants to be the one to lead the charge on uh, Harganeth? I guess we'll go with Static? Or Scroll. I guess Static has the least diminished army right now. Sure. Excuse me, what do you mean no point? Of course there's a point, you dingus. Get on the shore and do your thing, buddy. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I guess that doesn't really work out then. Damn. That is very unfortunate. Uh, then why don't you guys also land? You can't? Oh, you can't. You were just throwing a fit because you're an asshole. Wait, so Avalon's the only one that can accomplish this? All right. Well, that's unfortunate because I was hoping that we could give her a little bit of our respite, but I guess not. Mmm... Then again, let's see. Fight. We Kill. might be able to just bombard them with mortars and whatnot. And uh, thus minimize casualties. Alright. Let's see what kind of terrain that we're dealing with. Wall strength 2%. Ah, oh, man, I should have had the uh, guy destroy the wall first. Um... I'm assuming the towers are going to be offline, right? All right, we might be able to get through this with very few casualties because they don't have any reinforcements. They just have the um, basic, uh, well, not basic, but most advanced uh, garrison. So kind of basic in comparison to, um, you know, having a full staff and all that such. And I do hope that we can actually re-recruit the uh, regiment of renown that we lost. What? Oh, okay. Um, I guess their towers are back online? Wow, that's some baby back bullshit right there. Okay. Um, unfortunate. I guess we'll just have to do this. Alright, let's see. Mmm. Rat ogres, obviously. 
output abomination, and I guess we'll just leave the rest for. Uh, I guess, yeah, sure. All right, uh, everyone, scooch on over. Thank you. Because this is one of my favorite maps to siege down, but with, you know, us being able to a scooch on over and just basically avoid confrontation entirely. Or at least attack from the towers, rather. Alright. First things first, destroy that tower. And the walls... Wow. 99% damage. How are these still standing? How is there, like, only one breach? That's insane. Come on, guys. It's a garbage right there. Alright. First tower down. Destroy the second one, please. I don't know if we need to destroy the other ones. Oh, no. Turns out the other towers are damaged. Interesting. Um, can you guys not be there, please? Because that tower with 99% damage is somehow able to unleash a full barrage on our buttholes. And has maximum range, despite, you know, basically being on its last line. Alright. Hmm, I guess once we get out of that region, we won't really need to worry about that anymore, so... Whatever, don't worry about it. Okay, um, if we can wait for their armies to get on top of the uh, walls, it would be fantastic, but um, I suppose barring that, we'll just have to unleash our mortars. Right, guys. Poison wind mortars. We have three dudes. Let's have you uh, do some shit here. Did you just bust open the gate? Damn. Cool, I guess. All right. Warp lightning, or warp locked gazelles. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to do too much in this fight. Mm. Wait, we only have the one Plague Claw Catapult? Ah, damn it. Oh, well, that's fine. I kind of wish I could choose the um, troops to bring into a siege battle or, you know, the ones to prioritize for a reinforcement thing, but that's fine, I guess. All right. Poison Wind Mortars. Why don't you guys get up a little ahead? and start pelting them behind the walls. The dark charts here are almost dead. Wow, that is genuinely surprising. I don't know if our play claw catapults are gonna be super useful in this fight, besides destroying the walls and the um, whatnot. I guess, you know what, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, pelt some of the walls and we can make some holes and hopefully our warp block Gisales will be smart enough to, um, you know, fire at the dudes hiding behind the uh, walls and all that crap. And you guys can start pelting the Black Art Corsairs, which channels are obviously threat, but I'd say let's just take out the easier ones first. Mm. Oh, you guys can't hit them. Good, 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 good. That's right. Dinguses. Eat shit. Fantastic. Holy crap. It, I don't think it kills a lot of dudes, but it certainly does um, cause a lot of health damage, which is pretty good. And I guess we... Just out of principle, maybe we should just take out this uh, tower too. Wow. Damn. That's quite the uh, carnage you've caused there. Fantastic. Warp Lock Gisales. Let's get you guys over here. I'm hoping that you can shoot the, the holes, but... Eh, barring that, maybe we can actually hit the guys in the walls. Alright. Holy crap. Almo their witch elves are almost completely dead, too. You know what? Just go into guard mode. No need to uh, follow those bastards. Wow, wow, wee wow. Fantastic. Uh, you're wasting your ammunition on their buildings, guys. No need to kill the civilians. If anything, we'll be devouring their civilians, so it's all good. Alright, um, Blackguard of Nagaron, what are you doing? Are you actually trying to go through the, uh, hole there? Because... I don't mean to, um... You know, rain on your parade and shit all over your shitty-ass plans, but, um... Pretty shitty-ass plan. Actually, why don't you guys go after the Witch Elves there? Because they're primed for blasting right in the Anus. That's right. I love watching that. Oh... It's coming! What do we do? Just stand there and take it! Holy shit! Wow! Damn, never mind. It actually causes a lot of casualties. I guess, um, if it causes a lot of health damage, it's gonna cause a lot of casualties anyways. Yeah, I guess that kinda makes sense. 
Nice. Very nice. Holy shit. Um, see if you can hit the Witch Elves in the back. Yeah, that'll be good. And then the Harganeth Executioners, I guess. Although, um, I guess... I guess they are still able to uh, fire upon the Witch Elves. Wow. Fantastic. I love Mortars. Yeah, we'll just continue with this, I think. Try to take as a few casualties as humanly possible. And now they put their Harganeth Executioners up on the walls. Very smart. Awesome strategy. Perfect. Can't go wrong with this. Absolutely not. Holy crap! That's insane. Absolutely insane. Right, I think we're done with the Black Art of Nagaron. Go ahead and uh, work on the Harganeth Executioners. And how about these guys? I think they're in need of some uh, TLC. Go for it, guys. That's right. Fuck yes. We are almost out of ammunition, though, so that's... Hmm... Not great, but... Whatever. Actually, can you guys... Uh... Maybe you can't. Yeah, you know what? That's fine, then. Hold off for now. Even though you're basically at your, um... At the end of line for your ammunition. Because we'll just let those guys take care of those dudes. Can you get far enough to attack... Um... Actually, I think they're about to send in their last group of Harganeth Executioners. Yeah, let's waste all of our ammunition on these bastards. Wait. Oh. Why did the I... Oh, it's just positioning. The Eye Takers were cl um, closest to the uh, guys over there. That's why they used up all their ammunition. Gotcha. All right. Mortars, unleash hell upon their Harganeth Executioners. Go for it. Uh, you've only killed one so far, guys. There we go. A little bit better. Not amazingly so. You know what? You guys did an admirable job, I say. I wonder if our Rattling Gunners would be any good against the guys on the walls. Maybe we should try, just in case. What about our Warplock Gisales? Uh, they're not going to be able to hit those guys back there, are they? No... Can you not waste your ammunition like that, guys? Thank you. See? Much better use of your time and energy. Hmm. If we can get these guys through the walls, we might be able to hit their guys from the back. Alright, otherwise... I think we'll just go ahead and... Wow! Holy shit, Rattling Gunner's doing no damage whatsoever. Incredible. What if we send our... Hmm. You know what? We might as well just waste this on these dudes. Yeah, at least, um, you know, make them slightly sweaty. And cause a few casualties at the very least. Alright, so what's going to be the best um, against the Arganeth Executioners? Maybe we'll send our Assassins. Because there's so few of them left. We might as well. As well as our Warlords. That'll be good. Avalon, why don't you uh, join them? And Bail Quint, I don't think you can do Crack's Call on dudes on the walls, can you? Which I suppose is fine. Now we can Warp Lightning them, but, uh, nah. Do the gates, please. Do the gates. Yeah, we'll just group you guys up, because you're basically all just melee combatants anyways. Go for it. Annihilate that guy. That lady. That lady guy. Lady guy is not dead. How dare you? Alright, um, Foros? gonna kick your teeth in. Who's firing at them? Whoa, victory! Man, fucking tastic holy shit! Wow! Nice. I guess that's it then. <laughs> no ca- what? Oh, right. We took casualties because of the uh, towers. Right, right, okay. Not too bad. Zero casualties otherwise. Pretty fucking good. Yeah, the mortars. Holy crap. The Mortars really put in the work. And also the Warp Block Gisales, but mostly the Mortars. Good job, guys. Damn. Um... Hmm... I think we might want to occupy this immediately. Because I don't know if Avalon is going to be able to sack it and then occupy it afterwards. You know what? Sack it. We might as well. 
and pray that we cannot. Sadly, we cannot move on to Harganet. Crap. Um, that's unfortunate. Now, if you go into the stance, you can't do anything, can you? All right. Well, I may have made a mistake. Oops. Let's just hope that they don't uh, recolonize Harganeth immediately. Or N Nagrond immediately, because if they do, then I don't know if we're going to be left with zero turns left or something else. Ah. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. And this guy, um, raiding our territory as opposed to just beelining it towards Warpatek is actually quite good. Hmm, it's going to be a couple more turns before he's able to uh, move around, though. Okay, you guys will have to stay put still. Engenbolt. Um. Hmm. I guess that wouldn't really make sense. Sure. Then why don't you start moving towards Gron? And Pustin. Can you block his army? Fantastic. So she's not going to be able to get to Nagrond anytime soon, I don't think. Hopefully. And Kralk. What about you? What are you up to these days? Not much, it seems. Why don't you just go... Hmm. Maybe we should set up an Under Empire here. Just in case. If nothing else, then maybe we can... I don't know. Do something. Because otherwise, the Under Empire we would set up in... Um, this location, but... Uh, we're not going to be able to... Uh, blow their town up in time, so... You know what? Just do an Under Empire in the Tower of Lysine. Sure. Uh, let's give you... Or, you know what? Let's give you Immortality. There we go. Okay, so... We'll start with this. Start with that, and then afterwards... We'll try to get the uh, Subterranean Pit. That'll be good. Mm, DN will make you immortal. Fantastic. And who else has leveled up? Chief Butt Sex. There you go. Adam, stay put. And who has not yet moved? Silent the Mad. Hey man, I just destroyed this wall for you, so um, I hope you're grateful and all that crap. Actually, why don't you go explore Kalidor's Repose? Maybe we can get some more warp, warp fuel that way. Alright, so I think we're good for the time being. We do have 16 warp fuel. So now might not be a bad time to upgrade our armies here, or our dudes. Let's go with Pestilent Wind, and Warpstone Long increase or re reduces reload time. Mist of Morskrit. I don't think... Hmm... Causing fear is a good thing, but melee attack I don't think is going to be super necessary. Let's go with mi uh, Missile Damage Increase, and considering how much I love the Poison Wind Mortars, I guess we'll give them Warpstone Lung. Or should we start working on some of our Doom Wheel stuff? Yeah, I think maybe we should work on our Doom Wheel stuff. Uh, let's go for Meat Shields. Sure. And what else? Warp Spark Plug. And we still have two Doom Rockets. We can only... I mean, we can't build another one until um, two turns from now, so... We might as well do something like this. Um, melee Defense for Doom Wheels. And make them Striders. Increase their speed and charge bonus. Reload time. Mm, let's go for... I guess... Gyro Cogs or Gyro Cogs. Um, would make our Lord's... And uh, heroes on the um, Doom Wheels have perfect vigor. But those are few and far in between. So let's go for melee defense. There we go. And now we have this thing zapper. Okay. I think we're good for the time being. Alright. Moment of truth. Please do not... Ooh. Oh, okay. You've actually joined his team. And Nagron seems a little bit weaker... Not by much, though, but ever so slightly. Uh-oh. Okay. It seems that they're moving towards um, Nagrond. 
Hopefully not in an attempt to uh, recolonize it, but, um... Hmm... Troubling. Very troubling. Alright, well, thankfully, we should be able to take a Harganeth. Now what do you want from Assuming that, um, we still have one turn left to, uh, disrupt their plans. Scroll of Stone, or I guess we'll go with that. Uh, destroy the demon and gain some experience points for Adam Manslaughter, or investigate the box and increase our research rate. Hmm. Let's go for more experience points for Adam. Sure. All right. Has he leveled up? He did. I don't know why it didn't show up in the uh, thing, but sure. All right, Adam. Uh, let's finish off Ruinic Decay. And I don't know if he's going to be able to reach Warp Attack in one turn. Yeah, that's going to be a problem for sure. All right, so they do have zero turns left. Okay, so they might be able to recolonize Nagaron. Thankfully, not um, Harganeth, though. Actually, why don't uh, Murta the vom Vomitus? Why don't you go ahead and attack Harganeth? Um, can we have you just not reinforce anyone? You know what, just go for it. You lost 223 dudes, how? How is that possible? I lost zero dudes the last time I did this. How dare you? Right, at least these guys are now free to um, do whatever the hell they need. Hmm. You know what? Go ahead and repair those things. Sure. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to replace our lost Doom Meal right off the bat. But that's fine. Let's start working on this shit. Uh, and I guess we will go with the construction cavern. Not that I think it's going to be done anytime soon, but whatever. Alright, um, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode off here for now. Um, and... Alright, so hopefully this means that they will, uh, not be able to... Yeah, not be able to, um, finish their ritual. And assuming that I'm correct about this... It will mean that they will not be able to do their ritual ever again, and um, preclude them from, you know, beating me out of it, if that makes any sense. I'm wondering if we should try to go back to the Blacklight Tower to uh, regenerate, because this weather condition is not really doing us any favors here. Hmm. Actually, you know what, Murta? Why don't you step outside? And we'll have someone else go inside to replenish. Someone who does not yet have an assassin. So either Skrulk or Avalon. Let's go with Skrulk. Yeah, and you guys can uh, encamp and try to regenerate as best as you can. Wow, turns out for the most of them it's only going to take one turn. That's the power of the Assassin, I guess. Maybe we should just um, get Avalon and Assassin instead of a Doomio. Might not be a bad idea. We'll see, though. We'll see. They do seem to be extremely Victory! useful. So, and I think we might need to get Skrulk another assassin, too. Maybe we'll just get rid of one of the Plague Monk Sensor Bearers or one of the uh, Gutter Runners, because I don't think the Gutter Runners are as useful as I'd like them to be. We'll see. All right, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.